Hi, it's me again, and I have to admit I was waiting for this one. When I saw the headlines a couple of days ago, or maybe a week ago, about the new BBC News Studio, I knew it was just a matter of time before I saw this headline. Have a look. BBC Fury as staff facing acts savage £10 million curvy studio built for the Laura Kunzberg show. Yeah, the BBC was so proud of their new new studio they've come up with. It cost 10 million quid and they had Hugh Edwards showing us around it on Twitter. I had a little look. I had a little look myself. And I thought, do you know what? It's a matter of time. A matter of time before there's a, there's a sensationist headline about this because they're saying they've got to cut, what was it, a thousand staff or something they've got to get rid of in total to help pay the bills after the TV licence fee has been frozen because 3.2 billion quid a year isn't enough for us. So they're saying all those things all last week and then they can go and knock out 10 million quid on a new studio. How could it cost that much money? I thought everything done was, everything was done on green screen now. You look at Gary Lineker on his match of the day thing. If you have a look behind the scenes, go on Lineker's Twitter as sometimes I do look just so I can find things to pick on him for. All right, there was one of him sitting on a green chair next to a green table and everything was green around it. How much does a bit of green fabric cost? I happen to know because this behind me is a bit of green fabric. It doesn't cost a lot. You just need a funky computer and someone to draw up the background. Done. How does that cost 10 million quid? Why do they have to build the whole studio? Just make it all green screen. It's fine. Or just go old school. Get a desk and a telly behind you. If the news is good enough, you don't need all this flash nonsense to distract people. Do you? That's the way I look at it. But then, 3.2 billion quid a year. If they don't burn it, and they have money left over at the end of the year without a massive deficit, then the TV licence fee will be cut, won't it? They won't freeze it at 159. They'll cut it down, because obviously you've not spent all the money. Oh, yeah, so you don't need all that money. So they're on a massive money-burning party, basically. That's what the BBC is. That's what it is. Last week, BBC News unveiled a newly refurbished studio for flagship bulletins, having reportedly kept the project secret for months. The new space includes a curved catwalk and a giant vertical screen for social media videos and will also host a new show by Laura Kunzberg. However, the BBC committed to the new studio investment before it later unveiled plans to combine its domestic and international role in news channels, according to the Times. Yeah, I've said it before, if I worked at the BBC, even like in an admin role or IT role, something, I would be fuming, fuming. They were saying how many cuts. You've got to go to work in the morning worried about if you're going to keep your job. And yet they can go and knock out 80 million quid on an EastEnders set. Private Eye is reporting that this thing wasn't 10 million. It was actually 15 million. I wouldn't be surprised to hear if it was twice that. Would you? It's crazy. Crazy money-burning party. One source reportedly described it as obscene that the BBC had invested heavily in a studio that will be on air for three half-hour bulletins a day, while their rolling news channels faced considerable cuts. The new studio, known as Studio B, will be used to host election coverage where previously the BBC created bespoke studios for that purpose, allowing the company to save in the long term on doing so. Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. The ones they created bespoke in the past for that purpose were all green screen. You look at the election coverage, and he's got graphics coming from under his feet and up his back and he's full 3D all around him. That is green screen. That's not a bespoke studio. That costs them bugger all to do. All they need is a couple of graphic designers and IT guy. That's it. That's it. So absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And they're using it for three half-hour bulletins a day. Why not just use it for BBC News 24? Why not? Why not? You've got a rolling news channel. Why would you not use it? I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like me buying my dream car. I go out and I'll buy me Porsche or something, right? And I don't use it. I just use it to go to the shop and back. I don't actually take it out on a drive. It's absolutely pointless owning the thing. And it's a waste of money. Bloody BBC. Well, that sent me off on a bit of a rant, that one, didn't it? But uh, just imagine working for the BBC and being worried that your job might be axed. You might be made redundant at any minute. But you also see them on the other side of the fence on a massive money-burning party. It's ridiculous, and it's not sustainable at the current rate, is it? They've got to spend the 3.2 billion a year, or they'll get a cut. So they have to come up with this crazy, absolute nonsense to spend it on that it just isn't necessary. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad, isn't it? 
God knows what's going to happen if they get the tax thing and make even more money. Be a mess, <laughs> an absolute mess. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you do that, hopefully one day I can afford a 10 million pound TV set of my own. It's not going to happen and I wouldn't do that anyway. Anyway, anyway, ranting over. Ta-da.